All right, everybody, how's everybody doing out there? All of my fellow Americans, fellow Brits, fellow Canadians, and everybody out there watching me. This is Big Mike, the guy from next door, the hardworking American, the heavy metal guitarist, the pianist, the caregiver, you name it, everything, all in one. Anyhow, the topic today is about, uh, well, two things. The cost of uh, college tuition going up and the student loan, and the, the student loan rates going ridiculously high and nothing had, uh, had been done about it. And the MBA degree, two things that I'm gonna talk about. First of all, it is, it is sad. It is so sad that the uh, college tuition increased. The other sad thing is that Congress did not do anything about the student loan rates. Uh, they went up again, I think they doubled uh, on, on July 1st. So now it's uh, gonna be more expensive to borrow money from the government in order for you to, to go to school and probably get a useless degree. How sad. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about, uh, mainly, I mean, if you're gonna get a degree, a master's or a bachelor's, find out the value of it. Find out if there's a demand for that degree. Find out if you could uh, bypass that and just uh, do it on your own. Uh, wherever you're working at. Uh, find out if, uh, if uh, you actually need that degree or not before you sign your life away. I've heard some cases, my brother's one of them. I have a brother who, uh, uh, he's an engineer. He apparently did not need a, a degree. He had all of the know-how and he was willing to learn from some of the pros, so he's now an engineer. And I've heard other similar stories. So find out you know, if that degree is actually in demand, uh, what it's worth and everything. So. The next thing I'm going to talk about quickly, those of you who are getting an MBA, uh, man, uh, I can't say enough. I think I sound like a broken record now. Uh, the most overrated degree. Yeah, I mean, you see it everywhere. You see it online when you log on to check your email. Uh, you see all these online colleges uh, get your MBA. Uh, you probably see it on, on, on the billboards and get your MBA here and what have you. Find out if you really need a fucking MBA or not, because there are many, uh, I mean, in my opinion, and I've seen them out there, there are many books that have the whole layout of the MBA course in a book that you can just read. Everything that's covered in those two years is in that book. It's a, it's a 300 page book. And that's what I use as a reference. I got my MBA back in 2010 and uh, anything I need to know, like the uh, uh, like the Gantt chart, the, the CPMs and everything, I just, go back to my book, that, that big old book, and, and I reference it. Uh, uh, cost of production and all that, that good old stuff, you know, if I need to uh, refresh my mind, it's there. The cost of goods sold is there. Anyway, here's the deal. Those of you who are in the MBA program, or if you're gonna enter an MBA program, find out, please do yourself this big favor. If you can do this for yourself, you have saved yourself a big old fucking headache. Find out if there is a residency program for that MBA degree that you're getting. Find out if your university offers one. A residency program is, I think midpoint through your MBA, uh, you go to a uh, corporation. You go to a corporation, a bank, or if you're getting yours in healthcare management, you go to a hospital. It is more like an internship. While you're getting your MBA, you are you are going to be working for this uh, institution and you're going to be getting hands on everything you're learning from the MBA program you're applying it on that uh, residency program it's a job you're getting paid for it the advantage is if you kick ass if you do so good in your residency and you get your MBA that company will want you you got yourself a job guaranteed big times because you have learned so much in that company. You have learned so much from your MBA program that you apply for that company. That company is not gonna waste money in trying to hire somebody out there who, you know, who will come in and, and uh, take your place. They invested so much in you. They taught you so much. They taught you everything you needed to know as far as how their corporation runs or hospital or bank. So they're gonna keep you you're gonna get the job. You're gonna have the MBA in you and you're, you're gonna be in there, in the door, and guess what? You're gonna move up. If for any reason you decide not to stay with that uh, company, you will have completed your residency program. It'll look so good in your resume. That's, that's where I messed up. 
I was so focused on getting my MBA and it wasn't until I graduated that I found out when I was looking for work, I found out if I had done that, I mean, they were asking me if I had done a residency program, never did. So big mistake, I should have really investigated uh, if uh, my university actually uh, uh, offered a residency program and they didn't. I did not find out until I graduated. Uh, but the last thing I heard, I spoke to the director there and they were working on it. Other universities offer it. So find out before you sign your name on that damn paper to get that MBA, find out if they offer the residency program and get in it ASAP. Uh, I think you could get on it at the very beginning when you start your MBA. Uh, so that way you can have your foot in the door with a big corporation, you can work and learn and make money while you're going to school to get your MBA and and you can overlap all that wonderful knowledge and when you graduate you're gonna be the next big shot there the corporation will wanna keep you there and if they have other satellite uh, companies guess what they're gonna move you from here over there so that's all I wanted to say all of you guys who are getting your MBA please find out if your school or university offers that residency program uh, please do Make yourself that big favor. You won't regret it. Like me. So there you have it. I'll see you later. This is Big Mike, the guy from next door to Hard Work in America. And until next time, so long.